is Dandelion. She is our 10 year old prairie dog. As you can see, she has cataracts, so she doesn't see very well. But this does not stop her from being the busiest animal at our facility. Prairie dogs are known for building very complex tunneling systems and Dandelion demonstrates that every day because she is constantly working on her house. In the wild, they have specific areas for nurseries, sleeping, going to the bathroom, and even have listening posts at every exit in their tunnels. The tunnels are arranged to allow airflow through them, which provides necessary ventilation. The largest prairie dog town ever recorded was in Texas and was about 25,000 square miles and possibly home to around 400 million prairie dogs. Dandelion came from a facility that also housed prairie dogs, but unfortunately she was getting picked on by her other litter mates. So she came in here instead and we provide her with the affection she needs instead of other prairie dogs. Dandelion is one of the most affectionate prairie dogs. She even used to like to play with our dog Star. So these are our two prairie dogs. We have Soldier Bear and Tumbleweed. Now they have a little bit of a different story than Dandelion does. They came together. They were from a situation where someone was keeping them as a pet. It was kind of an animal hoarding situation. So there are a lot of other animals as well. And we were contacted because they knew that we have another prairie dog and we love our prairie dogs. So they came together. Soldier Bear is a boy and Tumbleweed is a girl and they have a little different requirements than Dandelion does because there are two of them. So they are housed together, which means we have to provide enough food that they're not going to fight over it, which they're very pleasant to each other. Anytime one of them leaves for a presentation, when they come back, they greet each other. And a prairie dog greeting is actually an open mouth teeth touch, so it kind of looks like kissing. It's very, very cute. Prairie dogs live in family groups that typically contain an adult male, one or more f adult females, and their young. Families are grouped together into wards, and several wards of prairie dogs make up a town. Prairie dogs have the most advanced and complex language out of any animal language that has been decoded, including chimpanzees and dolphins. They get the dog part of their name from their different bark-like squeaks and chirps. Prairie dogs can alert one another, for example, that there's not just a human approaching their burrows, but a tall human carrying a gun wearing the color blue. Girl Dandy. Are you a happy dandelion? <laughs> and don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook and Instagram.